more tips to survive. Make sure to try out the defense simulation. Your defenders may not be as potent as you may think. Try to move around their layouts and see what's most effective. Take some time out and practice your parrying. This first group of enemies is perfect for testing out the timing and getting it just right. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to do it much more frequently. Some stickers allow for a huge defense boost if you have matching armor. Make sure to do your upgrades accordingly. Do you find yourself often getting locked into combo attacks and often leading to death? Well, stop mashing the dodge button. Wait for the right opportunity and hit it at the correct time when they're not hitting you. A more effective way to cook items without having to throw them, walk up to them with it in your hand and you'll see the X prompt change to dunk it in the fire. It took me all the way to floor 10 to find out when your stamina reaches max that your heart doesn't explode and die like I assumed. You just go into a slight out of breath animation. There's a really easy way to gain SP to upgrade your facility quickly. Just raid random low level people's bases that often have little to no defenses and you can yield roughly 1 to 2,000 SP every few minutes. Not always is the defense value on armor the determining factor. Keep an eye out on the resistances because they could make you more susceptible to slashing and blunt damage, which is much more common. Elevators are rare when you're branching off on the side paths away from the main elevator shaft. Be careful and always work your way towards the center if you really need to find the elevator. Do you want to maybe change up the music or turn it off altogether? Well, go to this radio in the arcade and you can do so. Don't waste those express passes. Wait until you're out on a long run, you're full on inventory, and then use one. You get a free 10 slots to your inventory to free up some room. Also, the free trip down the elevator doesn't hurt either. Do you often find yourself pulled away from the game and hard to commit to a full run without returning to the waiting room? Well, if that's a problem, work your way to floor 10. After beating the boss, you can open this kiosk and purchase a shelter, which will allow you to resume wherever you are. Ever wonder what happens if you eat a boom shroom? Here you go. <laughs> Hopefully some of these tips were helpful and allow you to climb the tower more efficiently without having to feel like you need to plunk down any money. This has been Deadite from Boomstick Gaming and thanks for watching.